The keto diet is rapidly gaining in popularity, although it's been around for almost a century. There is a reason why keto is so highly regarded. It's not a fad diet. It actually works, and it has tremendous health benefits in addition to weight loss. When on the keto diet, you are feeding your body exactly what it needs and are eliminating toxins that will slow it down. The keto diet focuses on low carbohydrates, which the body converts into energy to help speed up weight loss. What exactly is the problem with high carbs and why should you avoid them? They become converted into glucose and insulin. As the insulin enters the bloodstream to process the glucose, it becomes the main source of energy. The body doesn't need fats and begins to store it. Or more accurately, it keeps adding it on. The more glucose in your diet, the less fat is being used. When you consume less carbohydrates, the body goes into a state referred to as ketosis, thus the name for this low-carb diet. Ketosis helps the body survive on less food. It's a fact that the opposite type of diet, vegetarian, requires the eater to consume much more food just to keep going. During ketosis, the liver breaks down fats into ketones, which enables the body to use the fat as energy. During a keto diet, we don't starve ourselves of calories. We starve the body of carbohydrates. This makes weight loss easy and natural. But as we will see, the keto diet has many additional benefits. The keto diet is an easy diet, but some people do miss beans and breads. It takes a bit of getting used to, but ultimately, not stuffing yourself with carbohydrates will make you feel good enough that you won't miss the carbs. And being able to eat bacon on a diet, oh, does have its rewards. In this video, we'll talk about what the ketogenic diet is. The keto diet is a low-carbohydrate diet, but it differs from other low-carb diets, such as paleo, in that it deliberately manipulates the ratios of carbs, fats, and protein to change fat into the body's primary source of fuel. Our bodies are used to turning carbohydrates into insulin to use as fuel. That means the extra fat is stored and keeps adding on the pounds. The ketogenic diet uses fats for fuel, which means it gets used instead of stored. Thus, weight loss becomes easy. In addition to weight loss, the ketogenic diet is known as the healing diet. The lack of sugar intake has been proven to help and prevent many diseases from heart disease, high blood pressure, cancers, epilepsy, and many symptoms of aging. The manipulation of carbs, fats, and proteins is called ketosis. It's a state when the body, deprived of the usual carbohydrates and sugar, is forced to use fat as its primary fuel. Of course, turning insulin into fat also means lowering the amount of insulin in your body. That's why the keto diet has been so successful in helping people deal with diabetes. It adjusts the sugar level naturally. The ratio of carbs, fats, and protein can vary. Many people allow themselves up to 50 grams of carbohydrates a day and still lose weight. On a stricter regime, the carb intake can be between 15 and 20 grams daily. The less carbs, the quicker the weight loss, but the diet is very flexible. On the keto diet, you don't count calories, you count carbohydrates and adjust the intake of carbs versus fat and protein. A typical keto diet will get 60% of its calories from fat, 15 to 25% of calories from protein, and 25% of calories from carbohydrates. The only limitation on the diet is sugar, which you need to avoid. The ketogenic diet is not a fad. Many scientific studies have shown the benefits and healing effects of ketosis. Discuss the ketogenic diet with your doctor if you're interested in consuming less sugar, losing weight, or preventing diseases from occurring. In this video, we'll talk about the benefits of the keto diet. Weight loss and higher energy levels are only a side effect of the keto diet, a kind of bonus. As a matter of fact, it's been scientifically proven that a low-carbohydrate diet is the fastest and easiest way to lose weight, but the keto diet has many additional medical benefits. Let's begin by stating that a high-carbohydrate diet with its many processed ingredients and sugars has absolutely no health benefits. These are merely empty calories, and most processed foods ultimately serve only to rob your body of the nutrients it needs to remain healthy. 
Here's a list of actual benefits for lowering your carbohydrates and eating fats that convert to energy. Control of blood sugar. Keeping blood sugar at a low level is critical to manage and prevent diabetes. The keto diet has been proven to be extremely effective in preventing symptoms of diabetes. Many people suffering from diabetes are also overweight. That makes an easy weight loss regime a natural, but the keto diet does more. Carbohydrates get converted to sugar, which for diabetics can result in a sugar spike. A diet low in carbohydrates prevents these spikes and allows more control over blood sugar levels. Mental focus. The keto diet is based on protein, fats, and low carbohydrates. As we've discussed, this forces fat to become the primary source of energy. This is not the normal Western diet, which can be quite deficient in nutrients, particularly fatty acids, which are needed for proper brain function. When people suffer from cognitive diseases such as Alzheimer's, the brain isn't using enough glucose, thus becomes lacking in energy, and the brain has difficulty functioning at a high level. The keto diet provides an additional energy source for the brain. A study by the American Diabetes Association found that type 1 diabetics improved their brain function after eating coconut oil, which we'll see is an important part of the keto diet. That same study indicated that people who suffer from Alzheimer's may experience improved memory capacity on a keto diet. Those with Alzheimer's have seen improved memory scores that might correlate with the amount of ketone levels present. What does this study mean to the average person? With the emphasis on fatty acids such as omega-3 and omega-6 found in seafood, the keto diet is likely to fuel the brain with additional nutrients to help achieve a healthier mental state. The brain tissue is made up largely of fatty acids, you've heard fish referred to as brain food, and the increased consumption of those fatty acids will logically lead to improved brain health. Our body does not produce fatty acids on its own. We can only obtain it through our diet, and the keto diet is rich in fatty acids. A diet high in carbohydrates can lead to a foggy brain where you have difficulty in focusing. Focusing becomes easier with the increased energy provided by the keto diet. In fact, many people who have no need or desire to lose weight use the keto diet to improve and enhance brain functions. Increased energy. It's not unusual and has become almost normal to feel tired and drained at the end of a day as a result of a poor carbohydrate-laden diet. Fat is a more efficient source of energy, leaving you feeling more vitalized than you would on a sugar rush. Acne. While most of the benefits of a keto diet are well documented, one benefit catches some people by surprise. Better skin and less acne. Acne is fairly common. 90% of teens suffer from it and many adults do as well. While it was always thought that acne was at least exacerbated by poor diet, controlled research is still being conducted. However, many people on the keto diet have reported clearer skin. There may be a logical reason. A 1972 study found that high levels of insulin can cause the eruption of acne. Since a keto diet keeps insulin at a low and healthy level, it may very well affect skin health. In addition, acne thrives on inflammation. The ketogenic diet eases and reduces inflammation, thus enabling the body to decrease acne eruptions. Fatty acids, which are found in abundance in fish, are known as anti-inflammatory. While research is still being done, it seems likely that a keto diet has beneficial effects for a clearer, healthier, and more glowing skin. Keto and anti-aging Many diseases are a natural result of the aging process. While there have not been studies done on humans, studies on mice have shown brain cell improvement on a keto diet. Several studies have shown a positive effect of the keto diet on patients with Alzheimer's disease. What we do know is that a diet filled with good nutrients and antioxidants, low in sugar, high in protein, and healthy fats, while low in carbohydrates, enhances our overall health. It protects us from the toxins of a poor diet. There's also research indicating that using fatty acids for fuel instead of sugar may slow down the aging process, possibly because of the negative effects that sugar has on our overall well-being. In addition, the simple act of eating less and consuming fewer calories is a matter of basic health as it prevents obesity and its inherent side effects. 
So far, studies have been limited. However, considering the powerful positive effects of the ketogenic diet on our health, it's logical to assume this diet will help us grow older in a more natural way while delaying the natural effect of aging. A normal Western diet laden with sugars and processed foods are certainly detrimental to warding off the signs of aging. Keto and hunger. One of the major reasons diets fail is hunger. People who diet feel hungry and deprived and simply give up. A low-carbohydrate diet naturally leaves people feeling full and satisfied. Less hungry means people will actually remain on the diet longer while consuming fewer calories. Keto and eyesight. Diabetics are aware that high blood sugar can lead to a higher risk of developing cataracts. Since the keto diet controls sugar levels, it can help retain eyesight and help prevent cataracts. This has been proven in several studies involving diabetic patients. Keto and Autism We know the keto diet affects brain functions. In a study on autism, it was found that it also has a positive effect on autism. 30 autistic children were placed on the keto diet. All showed improved in autistic behavior, especially those on the milder autistic spectrum. While more studies are needed, the results were extremely positive. In this video, we'll talk about the keto diet and cancer. Cancer has turned into a serious disease in our modern society. While cancer was not a large factor before the 20th century, it did exist, of course, our modern diet and sedentary lifestyle have made cancer the second primary cause of death, with 1,600 Americans dying from this disease every day. It appears that our bodies do not react well to being exposed to daily toxins. While any cancer treatment must be guided by your physician, it's a good idea to discuss the keto diet and what it can do to help the treatment of this disease. A cancer-specific keto diet may consist of as much as 90% fat. There's a very good reason for that. What doctors do know is that cancer cells feed off carbohydrates and sugar. That's what helps them grow and multiply in number. As we've seen, the keto diet dramatically reduces our carbohydrate and sugar consumption as our metabolism is altered. What the keto diet does, in essence, is remove the food on which the cancer cells feed and starves them. The result is that the cancer cells may die, multiply at a slower rate, or decrease. Another reason why a keto diet is able to slow down the growth of cancer cells is that by reducing calories, cancer cells have less energy to develop and grow in the first place. Insulin also helps cells grow. Since the keto diet lowers insulin levels, it slows down the growth of tumorous cells. When on the keto diet, the body produces ketones. While the body is fueled by ketones, cancerous cells are not. Therefore, a state of ketosis may help reduce the size and growth of cancer cells. One study monitored the growth of tumors in patients suffering from cancer of the digestive tract. Of those patients who received a high-carbohydrate diet, tumors showed a 32.2% in growth. Patients on a keto diet showed a 24.3% growth in their tumor. The difference is quite significant. Another study involved five patients who combined chemotherapy with a keto diet. Three of these patients went into remission. Two patients showed a progression of the disease when they went off the keto diet. More studies are needed, but these numbers are encouraging. The keto diet may help prevent cancer from occurring in diabetic patients in the first place. People with diabetes have a higher risk level to develop cancer due to elevated blood sugar levels. Since the ketogenic diet is extremely effective at decreasing the levels of blood sugar, it may prevent the initial onset of cancer. From what research has discovered so far, the ketogenic diet may stop the growth of cancer cells, help replace cancerous cells with healthy cells, change the body's metabolism, and enable the body to starve cancer cells by depriving them of needed nutrition. By lowering the body's insulin level, the ketogenic body may prevent the onset of cancer cells. On a ketogenic diet specifically for cancer, your fat should be at 75 to 90 percent, protein 15 to 20 percent, and less than 5 percent carbohydrates. Foods to eat. Eggs, including yolks, all green leafy vegetables, as well as cauliflower, avocado, mushrooms, peppers, cucumbers, and tomatoes. When choosing dairy, opt for a full-fat version of cheeses, butter, sour cream, yogurt, and milk. 
eat nuts such as walnuts, almonds, filberts, and sunflower and pumpkin seeds. Foods to eat in moderation. Have one helping of root vegetables, such as yams, parsnips, carrots, and turnips every day. Fruits contain sugar, so treat them like candy, one small piece per day. A glass of wine, vodka, whiskey, and brandy once a week. No cocktails with sugars. A small piece of chocolate with 75% or higher cocoa content once a week. Foods to avoid. Any food containing sugar, including cereals, soft drinks, juices and sports drinks, candies and chocolate. Limit artificial sweeteners as much as possible. Starchy foods such as pasta and potatoes, breads, potato chips and french fries, cooking oils and margarine. All beers. In this video, we'll talk about the keto diet and epilepsy. The initial use of the keto diet has nothing to do with weight loss or diabetes management, for which it is now so well known. Instead, the diet was created by a doctor in 1924 to help his patients suffering from epilepsy. Epilepsy is a nervous system disorder that can bring on recurrent seizures at any time. The symptoms can be spasms and convulsions or an unusual psychological view of the world. In any case, it's caused by abnormal brain activity. The severity of the symptoms varies from person to person, but a person is diagnosed with epilepsy if he or she suffers from more than two seizures in one full day. Anyone can suffer from this disorder, but it seems to affect young children the most, perhaps because the young brain is still in a state of development. Seizures are frequently managed by drugs. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. As far back as 1924, however, Dr. Russell Wilder of the Mayo Clinic conducted groundbreaking research and created the ketogenic diet to help children suffering from epilepsy. It was remarkably effective, but doctors lost interest when the new anti-seizure medications came on the market. It was easier for them to prescribe medication than to discuss diet. However, people who used the keto diet to treat seizures continued seeing remarkable success. Today, doctors are returning to using low-carbohydrate, high-fat diets to treat their patients. The results have been extremely promising. In 1998, the Journal of Pediatrics published a study involving 150 children who experienced seizures despite taking popular anti-seizure medications. The children were placed on the ketogenic diet for one year, which the researchers assessed their progress. 83% of the subjects were still in the study after three months. Over one-third of the children showed a 90% decrease in seizures. At the end of the year, slightly more than half of the subjects had remained on the diet, and a quarter of them experienced a 90% decrease in seizures. The numbers indicate that the keto diet has a tremendously positive effect on children who suffer from seizures. The researchers consider it more effective than medication in many cases. For anyone with children who experience seizures, the inclusion of a keto diet in the child's treatment should be discussed with his or her physician. Another research on the effects of the keto diet on childhood epilepsy involved 145 children. The children were divided into two groups, with one group being treated with medication while the other group received a ketogenic diet. 74% of the ketogenic diet group were successful in reducing seizures. There have been more studies of childhood epilepsy and the keto diet. These have sparked new and considerable interest within the medical profession. In this video, we'll learn about keto diet and blood pressure. One-third of American adults suffer from high blood pressure. It is a serious health problem that can lead to heart attacks and strokes. Obviously, the higher the blood pressure, the greater the risk. Aging and obesity greatly increase the chances of developing high blood pressure. Blood pressure is usually treated with a variety of medications, some of which can have side effects. The best blood pressure is 120 over 80. High blood pressure is the result of hypertension, and the causes aren't always clear. But we live in an increasingly tense world, and more and more people are dealing with high blood pressure. It's a known fact that people suffering from high blood pressure frequently carry excess belly fat and can become at risk for type 2 diabetes. To get at the root of all these problems may require a change in lifestyle. The symptoms of high blood pressure can be caused by an overload of carbohydrates in the diet. 
more than the body is able to handle. As we've discussed, carbohydrates are converted into sugars, which raises the body's blood sugar level, forcing the body to create additional insulin. Insulin stores fat, and an excess of insulin can lead to obesity. All this can have a negative effect on your blood pressure. Consuming fewer carbohydrates decreases both the level of insulin and the blood pressure level. This simple dietary change can make a huge difference in your blood pressure. An interesting study released in the Archives of Internal Medicine, 146 overweight people took part in a weight loss experiment. The people were divided into two groups. One group was put on a ketogenic diet containing a maximum of 20 grams of carbohydrates, while the other group was given the weight loss drug Orlistat, in addition to being counseled to follow a low-fat regimen. Both groups showed similar weight loss. What surprised the researchers was that half of the keto group showed a decrease in blood pressure, while only 21% of the low-fat diet group had any decrease in blood pressure. While weight loss itself would bring about a lowering of blood pressure, the study suggests that a decrease in carbohydrate intake can help lower blood pressure even more. It was found that potassium specifically had a huge effect on lower hypertension. Doctors recommend at least 4,700 milligrams of potassium each day for anyone wishing to lower his or her blood pressure. Foods high in potassium are avocado, acorn squash, bananas, coconut water, dried apricots, pomegranates, salmon, spinach, sweet potato, white beans. While all these foods are permitted on the ketogenic diet, limit your intake of sweet potato and beans, which are starchy and can contain a high level of carbs. In this video, we'll discover what to eat on a keto diet. Some people associate the keto diet with the bad word fat and are quick to dismiss it. Nothing could be further from the truth. Fat is allowed because it's converted into energy. Our body needs healthy fats to thrive. Other foods on the diet could not be healthier. When you're eating ketogenic, you're filling your body with nutrition. Let's take a look at the foods you'll be eating. As this video course has already pointed out, the elimination of processed foods and sugar is one of the best things you can do for your health in general. Processed foods are filled with toxic preservatives that do nothing for you but rob you of your good health. Fresh is always better. When purchasing anything at the market, get into the habit of reading labels. They can be very sneaky and revealing. Keep your carbohydrates under 50 grams a day and you'll feel the difference. A stricter ketogenic diet will contain approximately 20 grams of carbs a day. Foods to eat on a ketogenic diet. 1. Seafood Everybody knows about the healthful fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals in seafood. Very few of us eat enough. The keto diet encourages the consumption of all things from the sea. Shrimp and crabs are carb-free, and other shellfish contain only a low amount of carbohydrates. Fatty fish, such as salmon and sardines, are highly recommended because of their high omega fatty acid content. Fish truly is brain food. Enjoy at least two servings or more of seafood a week on the keto diet. Simple canned tuna counts as seafood. 2. Vegetables Can a diet that recommends unlimited green leafy vegetables be anything but healthy? They are extremely low in carbohydrates and bursting with vitamins, antioxidants, and the fiber we need daily. Green vegetables such as broccoli, spinach, and kale are believed to decrease the risk of heart disease and cancer. Cauliflower and turnips can be prepared to look and taste like rice or mashed potatoes with much less starch and carbohydrates. Starchy vegetables such as potatoes or beets do have carbs and should be limited on the keto diet. 3. Dairy Foods there are cheeses to satisfy everyone's taste. They are high in fat content for energy, high in protein and calcium, and low in carbohydrates. Yogurt and cottage cheese are a great source of protein and calcium. They are low carb and fit well into the ketogenic lifestyle. Be sure to stick with plain yogurt as the flavored types contain a lot of sugar, as are the so-called low fat versions of yogurt. You can flavor yogurt and cottage cheese yourself with a few berries and nuts. 4. Avocados Avocados are truly a superfood. They are high in important vitamins and minerals, including potassium. 
According to a study, avocados are also believed to help lower cholesterol by 22%. Loaded with nutrients and delicious taste, avocados only have 2 grams of net carbohydrates. Use them in salads and sandwiches. 5. Meat and poultry. The keto diet lets you eat plenty of meat. Meat contains very few carbs and is high in protein to help you build muscles. Whenever possible, choose healthy grass-fed meats, which are higher in fatty acids. 6. Eggs. Eggs are high in protein and contain a mere 1 gram of carbohydrates. As they are also inexpensive, they're ideal for anyone on a ketogenic diet. Eggs also make you feel full, thereby helping you eat less. Many people take pride in consuming only the whites of eggs, but the true nutrition lies in the yolk, so be sure to eat the egg in its entirety. 7. Coconut Oil Too many people are unfamiliar with coconut oil, another superfood. It is perfect for people dealing with diabetes and has been used with Alzheimer patients. Coconut oil can be used in most recipes in place of butter or oil. You can also use it for frying and sautéing. 8. Dark chocolate. Did you know that dark chocolate has a high amount of antioxidants? As a matter of fact, dark chocolate is reaching superfood status. Chocolate with 80% or higher real cocoa powder can lower your blood pressure. An ounce of 80% dark chocolate contains 10 grams of carbohydrates, so it definitely counts as a healthy snack. Keep in mind, the lower of cocoa content, the less healthy the chocolate will be. Milk chocolate does not count as healthy chocolate. Foods to avoid on a ketogenic diet. The keto diet has a lot less restricted foods than many other diets. Sugar, of course, should be avoided. That doesn't mean you can't enjoy sweet desserts. There are many keto-friendly recipes that substitute unsweetened applesauce for sugar in baked goods. Substitute sweeteners such as stevia can also be used in moderation. Keep in mind that fruits are healthful, but they do contain a great deal of sugar, so limit the amount you eat to just a few slices a day. Fruit juices are concentrates that have vitamins but lack fiber, and their sugar content is extremely high. Read the label on any bottle of juice before buying. The best juices are green with just a hint of fruit for flavoring. Be careful with cereals. Most are packed with sugar and robbed of any nutrients. Many claim nutrition added, but all that means is that all the nutrition has been removed and they have returned a small amount. 100% brand cereal will fit into your keto diet and you can sweeten it with a handful of berries. Just be sure to examine all the labels in the cereal aisle. This can be very tricky. Also, remember that honey too is a sugar. Totally omit white starches from your diet. They are nothing but empty calories. This includes white bread, pasta, and rice. Buy the whole grain version instead and enjoy in moderation. Legumes and beans are healthy for you, but they are high in carbohydrates. You can have them occasionally. Just make sure you keep it within your daily 20 to 50 carb gram count. Alcohols tend to be empty calories, but certain spirits will be better for you than others. Beer is filled with carbs and should be off your keto diet. The expression beer belly exists for a reason. Enjoy a glass of wine instead. Of course, there are variances in different types of wines. Dry wines contain a minimum amount of sugar, while sweet dessert wines contain much more. Pure alcohols such as whiskey and vodka are carb-free, but they do contain calories, so have a care. Mixing alcohol for fancy cocktails usually creates a haven for sugar, so avoid those. Wine coolers may be a tasty treat, but in reality, they're just sugary sodas with some added alcohol. They should definitely not be on your keto diet at any time. In this video, we'll learn how the keto diet works for weight loss. Many people confuse the ketogenic diet with low-carb diets or paleo diets. However, there are considerable differences of which you should be aware. Keto versus low-carb. A low-carb diet can be anything it wants to be as long as it is low in carbohydrates, and low is rarely defined. On a low-carb diet, you simply make random food choices that curb your carb intake arbitrarily. Since there's no real number, you might still be consuming too many carbs. Most importantly, what the low-carb diet lacks is that all-critical ketonic state that turns carbs into fats and provides your body with a new and effective source of fuel. This can leave you very hungry and tired. 
The ketogenic diet has a specific ratio of carbs to fats to protein. This manipulation is critical, and it's why a low-carb diet won't work as well, if at all. Keto versus paleo. The paleo is also a low-carb type diet. It's based on the assumption that eating the way our cavemen ancestors did, i.e. meat and no carbs, sugars, or grains, is the healthiest type of diet. There are problems with this reasoning. First, our ancestors never experienced the kind of diseases that we face. The ketogenic diet is specifically a healing diet that is meant to benefit the body in many ways and help prevent diseases. The paleo diet does not do that. Also, the paleo diet is based on eating meat instead of manipulating the ratio of fats, carbohydrates, and protein to achieve a ketonic state that uses fat as fuel. Ketogenic diet. Basically, ketogenic is low carb, but it's much more. There's a reason the ketogenic diet has become so popular. It helps improve your overall well-being in addition to helping you lose weight. You have more energy during the day and you feel sated and full, thereby reducing the cravings for unhealthy snacks. In essence, you're eating less but better. That's what makes the keto diet so unique and successful. The ketogenic diet is not magic. It is a scientifically proven method that balances your body's fat intake to help you achieve optimal weight loss. By using fat instead of sugars as your primary source of energy, the keto diet induces a state of ketosis, which is achieved when your body stops receiving carbohydrates to turn into glucose. The fewer carbohydrates you consume, the more you force your body to burn fat for energy instead of storing it. That's why it's possible to lose weight so quickly on the keto diet. It counts carbohydrates instead of calories. Using fats as an additional energy source is what ketosis is all about. It's a natural state that helped our hunter-gatherer ancestors survive. They feasted on low-carb foods when they could and fasted when food was scarce. Fat was stored and converted into energy during the scarce times. The ketogenic state is a natural human state, which makes the ketogenic diet so powerful and successful. In addition to the benefits of the keto diet, most people simply enjoy the way it makes them feel better. Weight loss results on the keto diet differ among individuals depending on their specific body composition, but weight loss has been the consistent result of people who've been on the keto diet. The keto diet is known as the best weight loss diet as well as the healthiest. A 2017 study divided CrossFit training subjects into two groups, with both groups following the physical training, but only one group combined the ketogenic diet with the training. The results showed that those on the keto diet decreased their fat mass and weight far more than the other group. The keto diet group showed an average of 3.5 kilo weight loss, 2.6% of body fat, and 2.83 kilos in fat mass while the other group lost no weight, body fat, or fat mass. Both groups showed similar athletic performance ability. A 2012 study divided overweight children and adolescents into two groups. One was put on a keto diet, the other put on a low-calorie diet. As in other keto studies, the children on the keto diet decreased their weight, fat mass, and lowered their insulin levels considerably more than the lower-calorie group. Besides more rapid weight loss, a decided advantage of the keto diet over a low-calorie diet is that people actually stick to the keto diet. A lower-calorie diet will help you lose weight, but you may constantly be feeling hungry and deprived. That's the main reason most diets fail. Hunger and deprivation are not part of the ketogenic lifestyle. What is ketosis? As we've stated earlier, the keto diet isn't magic, it's proven science. Ketosis is a natural occurrence that happens when you don't feed your body enough carbohydrates and it's forced to look for energy elsewhere. You have undoubtedly experienced ketosis when you've missed a meal or have exhausted your body with rigorous exercise. Whenever these things happen, your body helps you out by raising its level of ketones. However, most people eat enough sugar and carbs to keep ketosis from happening. We love our sugar and carbs, no matter how bad they are for us, and our bodies will happily use them as fuel. And since our bodies want to help us out, it turns any excess glucose into fat and stores it for future use. Stored fat translated into bigger and bigger sizes at the clothing shop. 
The more you restrict your carbohydrate consumption, the more your body will produce ketones. It really has no other options. When we restrict the amount of carbohydrates that we eat, our body will still provide us with energy, but it must turn to another source. And that alternate source is that fat that it has so thoughtfully stored for emergencies. The result is a state of ketosis. It happens when our body breaks down the fat into fatty acids and glycerol. Researchers have discovered most of what they know about ketosis from people who fast, thereby depriving them of all sources of energy. After two days of fasting, the body is starting to produce ketones and it breaks down the available protein and begins to use stored fat for fuel. Ketosis is the natural process the body goes through when deprived of other sources of energy. Obviously, going on a ketogenic diet is healthier than fasting. Ketogenic should become a lifestyle, not a quick weight loss method. One of the reasons it's so beneficial is that ketones offer protection against diseases and damages that can affect the body. We have already discussed how the keto diet is an excellent tool to prevent many diseases and maintain health and strength longer. Planning your keto meals will depend largely on your goals. Are you trying to lose weight or are you on the keto diet to alleviate the symptoms of some disease? The average keto diet will consist of four meals per day with a total of 100 grams of protein, 20 to 50 grams of carbohydrates, and 140 to 160 grams of fat. This can, of course, be adjusted to your personal needs. For example, if you're on a keto diet to improve cognitive functions, you may want to raise your fat intake to 90 grams a day for optimal results. Benefits of intermittent fasting on keto. The science behind the ketogenic diet is that the body burns fat when deprived of other sources of fuel. Intermittent fasting is a deliberate deprivation of food and takes the concept a step further. We're not talking long-term fasting. Intermittent fasting while on a keto diet means having two meals a day or fasting for one day a week. The fasting time gives the body a chance to rest and rid itself of toxins. It provides an extra boost to the weight loss benefits of keto, and it's a great way to jumpstart the diet. For weight loss, the keto diet combined with intermittent fasting will help you reach your goal faster and easier. In this video, we'll discuss how to get started on the keto diet. Congratulations! You're ready for a new and improved you. There are so many wonderful benefits to the ketogenic diet, you can expect many positive changes, both physical and mental. So let's not delay and get the journey started. Clear your pantry. We're sure you have plenty of willpower, but there's no need to confront a kitchen filled with tempting sugars and carbohydrates. Make a clean sweep and pack the offending items in a box, then donate the loot to a needy neighbor or a soup kitchen. They will appreciate your gesture and you are on your way to a keto lifestyle. If you have a family, try to get them involved. And if they refuse to refrain from eating carbs and sugar, at least insist they do so away from home. It's a fair request. Weigh yourself. The keto diet does not require you to live by the tyranny of the scale. As a matter of fact, as you build up healthy muscles, you might notice a slight initial gain. That's great, so don't worry. You should, however, have an idea of what your starting point is. If you opted for the keto diet solely to lose weight, you'll be able to track your progress. But don't become a slave to the scale. The occasional weigh-in, perhaps once a week, is enough. What about your favorite meals? Perhaps the very thought of giving up your favorite foods has prevented you from getting started on the keto way of life. Relax. The truth is, for every dish that you love and can't live without, yes, that includes cheesecake and mashed potatoes, you can easily find a low-carb substitute that's just as tasty. First, let's consider items at your market labeled low-carbohydrate. Labels are frustratingly deceiving, and you'd have to be a nutritional expert to understand them. All too frequently, off-the-shelf, low-carb products have simply substituted sugars for carbs. So don't fall for that bit of deceit. You need to learn to read labels with the diligence that you'd read your wealthy uncle's will. But your best bet is to stay away from all these products and simply find healthier substitutes. Same goes for anything labeled low-fat, which inevitably means added sugars. 
Craving a taco? Use a lettuce wrap instead of a taco shell. You want rice or mashed potatoes? Grate or rice a cauliflower, and you won't be able to tell the difference. Can't give up your favorite pasta dish? Turn a zucchini into zoodles by slicing it or using a spiral cutter and enjoy your pasta. You absolutely have to have your favorite dessert? On the keto diet, you can. Just bake it with almond flour and use unsweetened applesauce and or avocado to create some sweet smoothness. Learn about coconut oil, which can be used as a butter substitute in sauteing, frying, and baking. Coconut oil has incredible health benefits, especially for type 2 diabetes. On the keto diet, you'll be able to enjoy all your favorite meals, only better. Always stay hydrated. The keto diet tends to lower your insulin level, so your kidneys may be excreting more liquid than usual. Be sure to drink plenty of water. Condiments can be the enemy. Don't assume condiments don't count on a diet. On the keto diet, they most certainly do. Ketchup is filled with sugar. Not all salad dressings are equal. Read the label. And never opt for the fat-free version. They have merely substituted sugar for fat. Ordering salads when eating out is one of your best options, but beware of the dressing that that restaurant serves. Either ask about the ingredients or better, bring your own salad dressing. Don't hesitate to do that, even in a posh eatery where the mater d' might become spastic at the sight of you pulling salad dressing out of your bag. Explain to the server, without apologies, that you have a special dietary need and you will be using your own. Thank you very much. No further explanation is required. Keep track of your ketone level. It's especially important to remain aware of how your body is responding to the keto diet at the start of the diet, and you could do so by a simple urine test. You can also purchase a blood ketone meter. Test early in the morning before your exercise has the opportunity to fluctuate your ketone level. Friends and family can be annoying, bless their hearts. Those nearest and dearest to you may not always understand what you are doing when eating as a group they may put subtle pressure on you to just try a bite or one slice of cake won't kill you or worse, but I cooked it especially for you. It will take resolve to stick to your diet. It may help to fill up on keto-friendly snacks before you sit down and eat. Enjoy some nuts and avocado or just a leg of chicken before you eat and you will be less tempted. Celebrate. Celebratory occasions, especially if you're the guest of honor, can be a huge hurdle when the gang at the office or your parents enter a room with a cake yelling, surprise, on your birthday. It's hard to refuse, so try being a bit sneaky instead. By all means, gush over the offering. You're expected to do that. You can even help cut slices. Then discover a sudden and irresistible urge for coffee, which you verbalize loudly and clearly. Gently remove yourself from the center of activity to get coffee for yourself and anyone else. By the time anyone notices, hopefully they've missed the fact that you haven't eaten anything. Traveling. Traveling while on the keto diet can be a challenge, so be prepared. Pack a personal blender with some avocados and bananas for a few quick and healthful smoothies. Pack some anchovies or tuna for protein. Eating out. Eating out isn't as difficult as you may think. Even fast food places have salads these days. In any restaurant, stick to meat and vegetables and forgo the potatoes and noodles. You can even navigate the tricky maze in a Chinese restaurant. While abstaining from rice, you can enjoy the following. Clear soups, steamed fish with vegetables, egg foo young, stir-fried dishes, mushu without the wrappers are just a few suggestions. Ask your server if your meal can be prepared without the cornstarch that's frequently used as a thickener. Even if you end up in a fast food place that doesn't have a salad, simply toss the buns from your burger and just eat the meat. You can do the same at a friend's house or at a barbecue. Exercise. The keto diet will build muscle mass and give you added energy. Don't forget to incorporate exercise into your daily routine. It could be as simple as walking more, taking the stairs, or joining a gym. How long should I stay on a ketogenic diet? Well, the amount of time you spend on the diet can vary and should be discussed with your doctor. Many people who use the ketogenic diet for weight loss remain on the diet for several weeks until they've achieved a goal and then they turn to a paleo diet or other maintenance eating. We have listed several options in the conclusion of this video course. You do not want to lose weight only to return to your old eating habits. If you are on the ketogenic diet for medical or therapeutic reasons, check with your doctor to ascertain if you should remain on the diet for a longer period of time. 
Congratulations, you've mastered the ketogenic diet. You've lost weight, feel better, look fabulous, and are enjoying an abundance of energy. You've put a lot of effort into improving your health. So, what happens when you've reached your goal and it's time to abandon the keto diet? It's a hard fact that maintaining your weight loss can actually be more difficult than losing that weight in the first place. Returning to your old bad eating habits may be all too tempting. In addition, when you discontinue the keto diet, your metabolism is likely to slow down, making weight maintenance more difficult. You certainly don't want to lose momentum and return to the unhealthy all-American sugar and carbohydrate swamp with your lost weight returning. The options below are undoubtedly best at maintaining your current state of health. Consider your options before you stop the keto diet. Have a plan in place and know where you're going. Since the keto diet provides you with many options, it'll be easier to adjust to a maintenance style. Continue on the keto diet that's been successful for you, but consume more food. Not different high-carb foods, but the same foods you ate on the diet in somewhat larger quantities. You'll be eating more calories. This will allow you to eat more protein and fats, but keep the carbohydrate level low. Now, this can be a hit and miss process. Simply add more calories to your diet and see how your body reacts and adjust accordingly. This option ensures that carbohydrates are no longer running your life, as you won't suffer from the cravings you might have had when you started the keto diet. Shift from losing weight to gaining muscles. With the increasing energy you enjoy on the keto diet, you may wish to focus on improving your muscle tone. Many athletes are fans of the keto diet. This means retaining your low body fat but adding muscles and definition. Strong muscles help strengthen bone density and keep you strong as you age. The best way to gain strong muscles is to consume more calories in the form of lean proteins. This option is difficult to maintain unless you include a resistance training exercise program. Remain on low carb, but not on keto. When you use the keto diet to lose weight, your carbohydrate restrictions are fairly strict. You can still maintain your weight with a low carb diet, but not as rigid as keto. There are many healthy beans and legumes you can enjoy by adding a few more carbs to your diet. How much more carbs is very individual because every body is different. Add a few cups of beans, lentils, or another helping of carrots to your diet each week. See how your body reacts. If you continue to maintain your goal weight, you're right on track. Add 10 grams of carbohydrates a week until you are satisfied with the results. The advantage of this option is that it allows you to eat good, healthy foods that were off limits on the keto diet. Having a greater variety of foods from which to choose will make it easier to maintain your weight. If you find yourself gaining weight, simply cut down on the added carbs just a bit. Use intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting gives you additional options. Remember that fasting forces your body to burn fat. Here are some ways you can fast intermittently. Eat what you want for five days, then fast for two days. Eat two meals a day instead of three, providing for a longer period where you are not consuming food. When you begin to embrace keto, you will be enjoying all the benefits of healthy eating. By continuing to consume fewer carbohydrates as a lifestyle, your body will remain sleek and strong. You will also be providing it with ammunition to ward off many chronic diseases.